Yo, welcome everybody to the Lazy Hiker. Today we got a special treat for y'all. It's, I mean, let's just get into it. So from the Bay Area, we talking about a two hour drive. So per, per all the other modern holes, it's pretty far out. Um, you're looking at a 20 minute hike, 40 minute round trip, one mile to get there. Roughly around like 10 minutes. There's a couple little other trails you could take, but you want to stay, just follow the video, stick to the right hand side. You'll come around the stone head, you'll go to your left, all the great stuff. But basically you're swimming through a cave. On this video at National Bridges, it's a watering hole that's inside a cave. Like, I don't even know what else to say. Like, it's that, that's how dope it is. You come in the water, you come in the cave, you got some, some natural spring just hitting you right in the forehead and the hair, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just dope. And the best thing about it is you got the entrance and, you know, you got entrances on both sides as you can swim through this cave. For this video purposes, we're not going through, we're not swimming through through it. Give me, um, wait for the summer edition and I got y'all with the floaties, you feel me? Y'all get to meet Felipe and everything. But for this video, I show you guys how you can hike around to get to the other portion of the cave. And it's just dope because it's two different experiences. So before we get the ball rolling, just make sure to like, share, subscribe, go to cool things you do. Appreciate all the support per the usual. And I'll see you in the water, y'all. So if you follow the Google Maps, it takes you right to the location. Keep in mind, there's not that much parking. So try to be here early to get a spot. We normally just park at the beginning of the trail because um, we find parking, <laughs> you feel me? So you'll see the trail on the left-hand side. It just kind of breaks off, off the paved entrance. And that's that. It is a bit rocky in the beginning. Keep that in mind, but it was definitely worth it. I promise you that. As I mentioned 10 minutes in, you're gonna notice a different trail on the left hand of the current trail you're on. This will lead you to the early portion of the river. So what I recommend is stick to the right and stay on this trail as it'll take you straight to the caves. Once you get to Stonehenge, make sure to make a left if you wanna to get to the early portion of the cave. For this example, we'll do this first and then we'll go to the backside. So here we are, natural bridges. This is where you get your soul rejuvenated with the natural springs, just trickling on your forehead, coming down from the cave. But keep in mind, the water is freezing. So if you want to get through this cave, make sure to have all your electronics in a Ziploc bag, have your floaty ready to go, and be prepared to swim because it is deep up in this thing. It is beautiful. Now, get back on the original trail and continue going straight. What we end up doing is basically going over the cave to the exit. Once we get through these bushes, you can stick to your right hand side as it's an easier trail down. I stayed on the left portion of the trail, which is a little bit more adventurous, but you get there quicker. So this is the dopest side of the cave and the least popular too. So when you come up in here, you can really enjoy the atmosphere. I mean, you could go deep into the cave without having to swim. But keep in mind that the rocks are extremely slippery, so don't fall on your ass. <laughs> the dopest part is if you look around the cave, the patterns, the texture, and the colors are just extraordinary. There's a lot of pockets of water so you can relax on a warm day. So when you come to Natural Bridges, make sure to hang out on this side. There you have it, National Bridges, a watering 
COVID than the cave. I mean, y'all saw you just walk into the cave, had the water just sprinkling on me. You feel rejuvenated from that experience, you guys. Make sure to clean up after yourself, don't litter, so the next lazy hiker can join the trail and enjoy the cool vibes this summer. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one, y'all. Take it easy.